Hello, and welcome back to another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video. Dating isn't easy, and in order to find a long-term relationship that works, you're going to need to compromise. Nobody is perfect, so if you want the cuddling, companionship, and conversation, you'll have to put up with the toenail chewing, snoring, and weird elbow fetish. And although compromise is good, don't turn a blind eye to more peculiar behavior. Today, we're looking at the top 10 signs that you're dating a psychopath. One clear sign of psychotic behavior is not subscribing to daily top 10s. It's free, it's awesome, and it will never murder you in your sleep, not even once. Number 10, too charming. You've been on dating app after dating app searching for that perfect someone. Your thumb is aching from swiping right and wading through a sea of frogs, toads, and other assorted amphibians. When finally, there they are, your Prince Charming or Cinderella. But is it too good to be true? Before you go all in and start picking out monogrammed matching bath towels, watch how they interact with different people. Psychopaths are excellent charmers. They know how to work a room and lure people in. They might be grunting over Baywatch with your Stone Aged boss one minute, and a minute later discussing the pros and cons of lemon candles with your mom. Side note, there are no cons to lemon candles. Number 9. Multiple Personalities Ever noticed how your partner's personality can change when they meet new people? Now, we're not talking about suddenly adopting a Scottish accent when your Aunt Fran from the Highlands appears. We all do that. No, what we're looking for here is how they will literally be mimicking personalities. A personality is formed by many things, but primarily our conscience determines how we act towards other people. It determines our reactions to their emotions and feelings. Since psychopaths don't have a conscience, they are constantly trying to assume someone else's reactions to appear normal and blend in. They are natural chameleons. It's almost like they're trying to imagine what it would be like in another person's skin, sometimes even literally. Number eight, their favorite Disney character is, these monsters don't have a favorite Disney character. In childhood, we latch onto characters in Disney movies because we can relate to their struggles and triumphs, or the fact that they're a Jamaican crab. We feel genuine happiness when Beauty and the Beast fall in love, when Rapunzel gets rescued, or when the 101 Dalmatian puppies are reunited with their parents. This shows empathy and compassion for others, and that your parents just wanted to shut you up for 90 minutes. Psychopaths, on the other hand, are devoid of emotion and are apathetic. A simple test? If your partner doesn't even flinch when Mufasa dies, then start hiding the kitchen knives. Number seven, the pity party. Is your partner constantly faced with earth-shattering dilemmas? Can't afford car repayments? Being let go from work again? No blue M&Ms? We all like a good moan from time to time, but this is a setup. Welcome to the pity party. You are the guest of honor, and this is no accident. Psychopaths are master manipulators and prey on your sympathetic nature to gain control over your life. They search for partners who will give them everything and expect nothing in return. Have you found yourself paying their rent, watering their plants, or worse still, letting them finish your sandwich? You need to turn the tables. No more rent, burn all the plants, and start buying gluten-free sesame buns because, let's be honest, no one is going to want to eat those. Number six, they own a shovel. Unless your partner is a builder or a gardener, there is no reason for them to own a shovel. Oh wait, we should also add shovel designer to the list, and miner, and possibly hobbit. Anyway, you get the point. You've been warned before to look for the red flags? Well, guess what? Here's a big one, and if it's already red, then probably best not to ask why. Usually, if a psychopath has selected a victim and has chosen to kill, they will start to collect items they will need to carry out their evil desires. They like to relish every memory of the gruesome episode, 
from preparation to execution. So if you start to notice excess masking tape and reels of rope, it's time to run. They may have just been making you a swing, but you don't want that either, so no big loss. Number five, they stalk. Now, we're not talking lurking in the shadows and hiding in bushes kind of stalking, although you may want to check the shrubbery just in case. We're more interested in taking photos of you or someone else without you knowing. Why do they do this? Psychopaths like to stalk their prey and keep photographic memories to lust over later. Ooh, the romance. So what's the easiest way to rule this one out? Check their phone. Look through their images and if you find ones taken of the same person and from a distance, then you know there's a problem. And if they are of you, and even worse, of you sleeping, then, um, they're totally watching you right now. Please ask them to subscribe to our channel before they bury you. Number four, they kill stuff. Spiders are obviously tiny pan-dimensional alien monsters, and it's great to have someone who will step up on the pest control front. But what if they're enjoying it just a little too much? A spider in the bath holding you hostage can be terrifying. You're brushing your teeth, then suddenly you see him, inching forward on some of his unnecessary number of legs. If your partner rushes in and saves the day with a quick newspaper swipe, then excellent. But if they break out the tweezers and dental floss and tell you to come back in an hour, then don't let them take care of your cat anymore. That's all we're saying. Number three, a hairy situation. We want to have nice hair. That's why we use those things we saw in adverts with fruits we can't pronounce that appear to give women orgasms. So a quick sniff and a compliment from your partner is a sweet thing. But if you find them in the bathroom plucking clumps of your hair from your hairbrush, well, they may be creating some kind of voodoo doll. Psychopaths often take pieces of their victim's hair as personal trophies to remind them of their conquests. Make sure your locks stay securely attached, both on your head and on your back door. Number two, they want to tell you. Psychopaths are pure narcissists. They are obsessed with themselves and see perfection in everything they do. Even their darkest dreams have been perfected in their imaginations. This is why they are bursting to tell you. It's just like in those old James Bond movies where the villain smugly reveals his plan as Bond is sliding slowly into the lava or shark pool or marzipan or whatever. Listen closely to what they're mumbling. It might just be an evil plan. Number one, the lingering stare. Know that creepy feeling you get when you think someone is watching you? Well, guess what? They probably are. But what if you get that lingering stare when you're at home with your partner? We all long for those romantic moments where we can waste the night away looking into each other's eyes. It's slightly less romantic if they are across the other side of the room or standing in the closet. Psychopaths have vivid imaginations and like to spend their time actively lusting over the evil acts they wish to commit. Certain people or objects can trigger an image in their heads and they can get lost in the moment. It's just like what you might do when you picture a cake or winning the lottery. Just replace the cake with a brain and winning the lottery with, um, a spoon. Thanks for watching another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video. And remember, it's our duty to entertain and yours to subscribe. Hey there, did you like that Top 10 video? I know you did, you just watched it. Now you're here with me. So uh, go hit that subscribe button so I uh, don't have to whack you in the noodle. You don't, want, uh, you don't want Sammy here whacking you in the noodle. Cause you know what happens to your noodle when Sammy hits you? Uh, bad things. It's picture an egg, you remember that? It's gross, you don't want that. You'll get it all over the computer and uh, you know, you might break the internet. Anyway, subscribe, you know, make sure you like the channel, all that stuff. You, 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 you've been on YouTube before. Just do what you know you need to do to see more videos. And hey, if you're in need of a hitman, go down and uh, 
leave a comment for me. Maybe we can connect. You can give me some money. I can give uh, some violence to someone that you don't like. All right? I'll see you around.